Now, video games offer the ultimate fantasy experience, whether it's by giving you an ultimate weapon that kills hordes of enemies with ease or a superpower that bends the laws of physics and time. The goal is usually to help you satisfy that rather odd urge for wanton destruction and carnage. In fact, some games are so generous when it comes to scratching your violent spot that they not only let you kill a bunch of goons and monsters, but also destroy entire bloody planets. The toys that they bring to the table go beyond the typical spectrum of devastation and provide some incredibly flashy, if not slightly terrifying, shows for us all. So let's take a look at them as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game weapons that let you destroy entire worlds. Number 10. Planet Buster, Fanatical Frenzy, and Gravitation Wave. Spore. Spore, the galactic life simulation, lets you create your own species and take it from being a single-celled organism in the primordial soup to an interplanetary empire of the future. The game offers you different paths on your way to the stars, and with them, a variety of options to end billions of lives all at once. The game features three space stage weapons that are capable of creating a planetary scale apocalypse. The first one, accessible to every empire in the game, is the Planet Buster, a powerful bomb that when dropped on a world will immediately explode its core and turn into a giant flaming ball of death. However, if you don't quite feel like absolutely destroying a perfectly habitable world, the game also includes a less catastrophic, though by no means humane alternative. Empires that follow the philosophy of science gain access to a powerful gravitational wave that raises all sentient life off the face of your future colony. And if you feel somewhat merciful, the philosophy of the Zealot offers you the fanatical frenzy laser that brainwashes every single alien on the planet into following your religion. Variety is indeed the spice of life, or in this case, mass destruction. Number 9. Hawley Engines – Planetary Annihilation Planetary Annihilation is a fun, competitive, real-time strategy game where you try to defeat other planets by building up your economy and then destroying their bases with an army of war machines. If the name didn't give it away already, the game features several methods of griefing your friends by wiping their planets off the map. There are nukes and orbital strikes, and in the game's DLC, Titans, while it even has a full-scale Death Star added to the mix. However, the most entertaining method of destroying worlds has to be the so-called Hawley engines, huge rockets that your construction bots can mount to a moon and propel it towards the nearest celestial body. Now, unlike the other options in the game, these engines require a little bit of setup and thinking, but this only makes the payoff all the more satisfying. Nothing beats sneakily pumping a moon full of rockets and then watching your Frankenstein creation of futuristic engineering and naturally occurring satellites ram itself into your opponent's homeworld at breakneck speeds, blowing it up into a million pieces. Number 8. The Nuke Warzone 2.0 they say don't bring a knife to a gunfight, but what about a nuke? Though it's not something every player can pull off, Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 allows you to detonate an actual nuclear bomb in the middle of the match, wiping out the entire map and effectively rendering you the winner. The process of acquiring the bomb is rather tricky and requires a lot of skill from the player. Just to be able to spawn the bomb, you'll need to win five matches in a row, and anyone who's ever played a Battle Royale game knows that this is no easy task. If you manage to meet this requirement, your next time task will be to gather three bomb parts that are scattered on the map, wait for the nuke to drop in a specified location, and then use the gathered elements to arm the device. Once the bomb is armed, the game will then start a countdown to detonation, during which you'll need to protect the nuke from other players. Now, The process will likely be a ruthless battle, but if you fend off the attackers until the very end, the nuclear spark of victory that follows, well, it is well worth the effort. Number 7. The Plague – Plague Inc. If you're looking for a more biological approach to total annihilation, Plague Inc. might be the right match for you. The game's entire goal is to wipe out all of humanity with a super virus, and it offers an impressive collection of mutations in order to help you achieve that. From the regular bubonic plague to a zombie virus and a mutagen that turns regular people into vampires, this game allows you to get really creative with how you go about bringing the end times. In addition, each bioweapon you create can be modified to be more resistant and infectious and transmit itself through air, blood, animals, and even avocados. However, the best feature of the game has to be the ability to name your disease. There's something morbidly hilarious about destroying all of mankind with a virus called, I don't know, Steve or the Fortnite Fever. Of course, you can also go for the more realistic approach and wipe everyone out with a case of the common cold. Number 6. BFG 10,000 – Doom Eternal The Doom series has always featured the most violent and gory weapons in gaming history. However, although Doom Guy could probably 
cause global carnage with nothing but a spoon, only one weapon in his arsenal is capable of wiping out a planet all on its own. Making its debut appearance in Doom Eternal, the BFG-10000 is a massive cannon located on the Phobos moon base. The weapon was designed to fend off space armies and demonic invasions and is actually powered by a smaller and slightly less destructive predecessor, the BFG-9000. Here, the Doom Slayer uses it to blow a hole in Mars's core in order to gain access to an ancient city located inside it. This is the only time we get to see the BFG-10000 in action, but this small preview is more than enough to feel its power. After the Doom Slayer finds it, the smoldering hole that's left on the surface of the planet is a testament to the countless demon lives that you've just taken with one shot. And as a bonus, you get to keep the BFG-9000 powering the cannon after you use it for some more up-close and personal bloodshed. Number 5. The Death Star – Star Wars Empire at War When it comes to planet destroyers, no weapon is more iconic than Star Wars' original Death Star. The floating metal orb is probably why the concept of blowing up planets with orbital lasers became so popular in the first place. If you've ever wondered what it would be like to wield the power of an actual Death Star, well the 2006 strategy game Star Wars Empire at War is just the thing to sate your morbid curiosity. In the game, you get to play as either the Empire or the Rebels and expand their influence within the galaxy by building ships and fighting the opposing forces. Of course, if you pick the Empire side, one of the vessels in your arsenal is the legendary Death Star itself. The Death Star is capable of shooting smaller laser bursts to target individual ships and stations, but being true to its movie counterpart, it can also fire up a giant stream towards a planet to instantly blow it up. It can use its main burst only once per battle, but it is more than enough to completely crumble your opposition. Just make sure that there aren't any Jedi flying around when you bring this to the battlefield. Number 4. Planet Buster – Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri The Death Star may have been one of the inspirations for most planet killers, but Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, the sci-fi spin-off of the beloved turn-based strategy game, contains one of the earliest examples of a world-destroying weapon in video games, the aptly named Planet Buster. Now, the Planet Buster is a powerful quasi-nuclear missile described by the game as the future's ultimate atrocity. When fired at another nation's territory, it creates a black hole that destroys everything within a radius equal to the size of its reactor. This means that at its full potential, the missile is capable of wiping out entire civilizations with a single strike. The weapon is so deadly and dangerous that simply using it once will anger the planetary council. Your nation will immediately be thrown out of their ranks and every single member will be dead set on destroying you. On the other hand, you don't really have too much to worry about considering that, well, you're in possession of a remote-controlled black hole. Number 3. Obliterator – Endless Space 2 The Obliterator from Endless Space 2 is a marvel of engineering that the player can unlock towards the end of the military technology tree. It allows you to turn your big class spaceships into a weapon of total destruction, a proper star killer. That's right, the Obliterator goes one step further than your regular world destroyer and allows you to blow up an entire solar system at once. Though the cost of researching the Obliterator technology is ridiculously high, the price is well worth it, as nothing beats the feeling of sending a system-destroying missile at your enemy's home star and then watching as the core of their empire goes up in flames. The best part is that the Obliterator has an infinite range, meaning that as long as you can see your target on a map, no part of the galaxy is safe from your wrath. Just remember though that you're not the only one who has access to this technology. Other nations in the galaxy can also make their own star killers, and if you're not careful, you might be surprised by your rival blowing up most of your empire from the comfort of their own home. Number 2. Graviton Condenser – Star Ruler 2 Star Ruler 2 is a massive sci-fi 4X strategy game that includes a wonderfully intricate shipbuilding system, complete with weapon add-ons that allow you to destroy planets and solar systems. The Graviton Condenser subsystem is a technology you can unlock for your ships via your tech tree. It's a massive beam that causes a celestial body's own gravity to collapse in on itself, causing damage to the body until it detonates in a blinding flash of light and fire. The thing that separates this weapon from all of the other entries mentioned so far is that since Star Ruler 2 allows you to build ships of whatever size and power you want, you can technically assemble a graviton condenser so big that it could work on something even larger and more destructive than a star. If you're really dedicated, you may build a ship capable of exploding a black hole, or if you have a lot of time to spare, the center of the galaxy. But whether you seek to destroy everything or just make an example out of one of your enemy's home planets, the graviton condenser is certainly a powerful weapon indeed. And number one, Colossus, Stellaris. 
When it comes to total annihilation, the real-time strategy game Stellaris boasts the most impressive collection of weapons. The game contains eight different types of planet killers, as well as a star eater ship capable of destroying entire solar systems by turning their suns into black holes. The weapons are special modules for the ginormous colossal type ship the player unlocks based on their empire type. You have beams that blow up planetary cores, beams that drown the planet in an endless ocean, beams that pump it full of radioactive waste, and beams that devolve every single sentient species into animals, and that is just naming a few of them. The variety of global disasters the player can create on a whim in this game well, it's truly staggering, but the best part is that with each new DLC release for Stellaris, the developers design another shiny new planet killer that adds another spicy way to turn the galaxy into a harrowing landscape of broken planets and billions of dead aliens. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game weapons that let you destroy entire worlds. I hope you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ, but the O is a zero. Hope to see you over there, my friends. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. Even though we spoke today a lot about destroying planets and all sentient life in the galaxy, let's take a moment to celebrate the good things that are going on in our lives, shall we? Because you, my friend, you are a massive ledge. You deserve all the best things in life, like love, happiness, and success and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise all right you are a brilliant person and we need to go out there and smash it today i believe in you as always i've been jules you have been awesome never forget that and i'll speak to you soon bye